I'm your host Jonathan Anyange and this is Stories A2. This is a place where we talk about pop culture with emphasis on East Africa. Our guest today is Miller and uh, I will just let him introduce himself. Miller, how are you? I'm fine. Uh-huh. Uh, so my name is Dennis Miller. Yes. I'm a full-time filmmaker. Mm-hmm. Or you can say an award-winning filmmaker. Yes. I've done a couple of short films, mm-hmm. TV series. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, just mm-hmm. to mention a few, yes. Mm. How are you finding your journey so far being in Kenya and being a filmmaker? How am I finding my journey being in Kenya and yes. being a filmmaker? Yes. Uh, for me, it's easy mm-hmm. since this is exactly what I wanted to do. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, one day at a time mm-hmm. and enjoying it and every time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Can you tell us where your passion for film started from? My passion for film... Um, so long story short, yeah. Yes. Uh, back home, I have a sort of like a, like a kiosk or a movie shop. Mm-hmm. So the society around used to tell me that ah, Mila is a filmmaker. Yeah. Mila is a filmmaker. So for me, it started from the community. So I wanted to give back to the community. That's nice. why I wanted to tell this kind of story. That's mm-hmm. why I wanted to be a filmmaker. Mm-hmm. So it started from the community. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, who inspires your creativity and uh, what do you... Let's start with that. Who inspires your creativity? Or do you regard yourself as a creative or just a filmmaker or a videographer? Uh, I am a creative. Uh-huh. So what inspires me? I can say it's the daily life mm-hmm. struggle that you go through. Yes. I believe in story t- storytelling and storytelling matters. Mm. So each and every moment I live in life inspired me to tell a story in one way or the other. Mm-hmm. So since I'm a visual artist, so I tell this story through mm-hmm. visuals. Mm-hmm. So a daily life mm-hmm. inspires me mm-hmm. as a filmmaker. Uh, w- okay, that's good. Yeah. Because uh, I wanted to ask you what you re- use to recharge your creativity. And you're saying like it's the daily it's life. It's the daily life. Yes. The, the uh. struggle that I go through. Mm-hmm. The things that I feel like the society needs to change mm-hmm. about. The things that I've been learning so mm-hmm. far mm-hmm. and I need to change them. Kind of like life reflecting life? Yeah, uh, exactly. Uh, exactly. Okay. Yeah. okay, okay. Do you have any favorite films or series that uh, you look up to? Favorite films or series that I look up to? Yes. I, I like don't choose... really like to create something like that? Oh, as a, as a filmmaker mm-hmm. and especially as a cinematographer, mm-hmm. I don't actually choose. Mm-hmm. Everything inspires me, especially each and every film, whether mm-hmm. it's horror, mm-hmm. It's romance, mm-hmm. it's comedy, it's mm-hmm. drama. Mm-hmm. Uh, so most uh, most um, videographer or cinematographer they have like different approach mm-hmm. of how they, and how they shoot their shots. Mm-hmm. So each and every each and every time I see a different film, they usually like a unique touch on a certain mm-hmm. uh, shot on mm-hmm. a, or a certain lighting style. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I'm kind of <laughs> like that. Like yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. like I, I don't have like a specific someone who inspired me, mm. but I feel like each and every cinematographer yeah. has their own touch. You can actually tell. Yes, my shot might be different than someone else. Yes, and th- that's that's actually beautiful. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, which projects have you worked on that you would like to mention? Wow, amazing! The project that we've worked through, like mm-hmm. two weeks ago, mm-hmm. we did a like uh, last year we did a certain short film. It's called God for Pete. Nice. And two weeks ago, we mm-hmm. won mm. like the best mm. student uh, short film in Kenya. Yes, and that's that's amazing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah, that's amazing. Where can people find the? the uh, so right now, mm-hmm. uh, you can't actually watch the film since it's still in distribution part of it. Yeah. And when a film is on, on distribution part, it's actually very mm-hmm. rare to see it mm. because we are looking for funds so that mm. we can create like a feature film mm-hmm. out of it. Mm. So right now, it's not out yet. Yeah. But you can look at my Behance, uh-huh. you'll see the trailer over there uh-huh. at Dennis Miller. Uh-huh. Dennis Miller. Yeah, Dennis Miller, you'll yes. just see the trailer over there and yeah. a lot of my work that I've done. Mm-hmm. It's, 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 yeah. I'll make sure we invite him so that he tells us how it, how it, it's going. Yes. Um, what do you think of the role of women in film? Because um, there's this rise of mm. encouraging them to get into the, the film industry and especially here in Kenya, yeah. uh, talking locally. <laughs> Um, what do you think? Is it something that's being championing, that's being championed, and um, is it working? The role of women in film. Mm. Um, okay, you know what they say: what a man can do, <laughs> a woman can do better. It's actually true. Mm. I feel like uh, in film, mm-hmm. 
most m- women who are considered to be like producers mm. or writers but right now i've seen them stepping up and they end up carrying equipment like mm. heavy heavy equipment mm-hmm. like they are into lighting mm. uh they're doing camera work yeah. uh um lighting and that's like very hard and mm. interesting to see like mm. last month mm-hmm. there were certain women worked on a certain project called uh fatherhood mm-hmm. and it was like a, a whole women crew mm. they did like everything we That's were there great. carrying mm. water and, and <laughs> cooking for them on yes, set yes. and it's actually a beautiful thing seeing mm-hmm. women actually they are stepping up mm-hmm. and they are doing this from a scratch from the mm-hmm. beginning mm-hmm. till the end yes. so it's it's beautiful and mm-hmm. it's i feel like it's an industry where mm-hmm. everyone is being invited uh-huh. if you feel like you can actually do and you're dedicated Get to it, it just mm. come mm-hmm. do what you have to do and mm. and then let's see let's see how it turns out yeah good uh mm. what do you, what kind of advice would you give someone who wants to get into fil- the film industry and uh, especially someone who's young and they don't really know which role they fit into so what would you tell that person uh the only thing that i can tell to a young filmmaker mm. is that just just do it mm. Yeah, just go out. You don't necessarily need to have like beautiful cameras, mm. nice stories. Mm. Nowadays you have access to phones mm-hmm. and a phone can actually shoot a beautiful mm. film. Mm-hmm. So just tell your stories. Mm-hmm. I believe you can use your phone to make a film. Mm-hmm. Just start. Mm-hmm. Don't wait for that perfect camera. Mm-hmm. Don't wait for that perfect funding. Mm-hmm. Don't wait for the perfect location. Mm-hmm. Just shoot your story mm-hmm. let it out there you have access to youtube yes. access to instagram mm-hmm. just tell your story as well and then mm-hmm. let's see the mm-hmm. there's I, i believe like each and every time you put your work there yeah. someone is watching mm-hmm. and if they see a potential in a piece that you created which wasn't like high highly produced mm-hmm. someone can see that work and mm-hmm. can actually say yeah mm-hmm. that guy mm-hmm. has something yeah nice uh so as the parting shot mm. what would you like to share uh if there's a project you want to plug if there is your socials you want to tell yeah. us yeah let us know uh so right now um follow me on instagram as dennis milamzungu <laughs> yeah. uh, i also sell fish at summer king so mm-hmm. order your fish down here <laughs> at summer king we sell fresh fish and yeah let's tell stories mm-hmm. storytelling matters and it matters in a way that mm-hmm story can exist on its own yeah. whether i'm the one telling the story or you mm-hmm. so let's tell stories man mm-hmm. yeah <laughs> well thank you so much uh, i have been your host Jonathan Anyange once again this is story z2 find us on all our socials at story z2 uh, be it instagram tiktok youtube facebook and i and think that's it, it. and they subscribe yeah. and subscribe, subscribe. To this channel. really please do down here <laughs> down here yeah. thank you and goodbye